I think everybody should know how to cook a nice simple salmon dinner. We're gonna pan fry this on the stove with some butter garlic sauce that is just out of this world. And what goes better than mashed potatoes on this? It just is so delicious, so quick and easy. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. All right, let's start off with chef joke number one. Number two will be a little bit later in the video. Stay tuned for that. All right, where does the salmon go to deposit a check? To the riverbank, of course. So to start off our recipe, we're gonna take some organic gold potatoes. We're gonna peel those and then cut them in half and put them in some water on the stove, you know, in a pot. And uh, we're gonna boil those until they're nice and soft and ready to be mashed, just to get these going before we start cooking our salmon because it, salmon cooks up really quick. So here are our ingredients for our salmon recipe. Now, first up I have here is some two pieces of salmon. One is sockeye, the other is king salmon. Can you let me know down in the comments which one is which? I'd like to see if you guys can tell. You wanna patch your salmon dry. You want it to be dry so that it will grill up and get a little crispy on the stove and not steam. I am going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the salmon. You wanna rub it in both sides and then we'll add some salt a little bit of pepper and what I have here is some homemade Italian seasoning which I have my own video on, on a blend that I make but you can use any kind you want and you just want to sprinkle that over the top gives it a nice Italian flavor and if you want you can kind of pat it in make sure that it sticks and I'd like to do the other side as well and some more seasoning. Now that is ready to go. Before I start cooking it though, we're gonna cut up some garlic here. So chop up your garlic nice and fine. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna check my potatoes before I start cooking the fish and take a fork and stick it in there and make sure that it's tender, that it fork goes through nice and easy, and it does. So I'm gonna drain the water and then we'll start, well, I'll mash those up with uh, my milk mixture with a little bit of butter in it. And I'm gonna heat that up in the microwave for like a minute, just so it's warm. And I'm adding warm milk and butter to hot potatoes. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to this as potatoes definitely need some salt. I'll cover this and keep it warm. Okay, I'm gonna put my pan over medium high heat. I have a clean plate I'm gonna put behind the pan so that when the salmon is done, I'm gonna place it back there and then we'll make our sauce. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Let that heat up. My pan's pretty hot, so it's, it's looking good. I'm gonna take my salmon that's been seasoned, remember, place it the skin side up. Now what we're gonna do is cook this. They're not very thick. Now it's a good half inch. This one's maybe three quarters of an inch thick. What we wanna see is, and I don't know if you can see it yet, but there's a little opaque line that's gonna move up about a third of the way of the thickness of the salmon. And then once it gets to that point, after about mm, two minutes or so, maybe three, then we'll flip it over. We don't wanna overcook this, especially the sockeye salmon because it doesn't have as much fat and it tends to dry out very easily. You also don't want to touch it or move the fish around because you want it to sear up and hopefully build up a nice little crust. Okay, here's chef joke number two. Who do you call when your cured salmon is stuck in the freezer? The locksmith. All right, it's been about two minutes. Let's have a look. It's getting a nice golden brown, beautiful. Look at that. Nice. Another 20 seconds or so and I'm gonna flip it over. You can see now, I'm pretty sure you can see the how the fish is changing to an opaque color. All right, I'm gonna turn these over. Notice how the color change is up about at least a third of the way up the thickness of the salmon. 
Now once we turn it over, then we're going to cook it again for another two minutes or so. And if things get crazy with the splatter, you can put on a splatter guard like I have here. Okay, it's been three minutes on the second side, almost three and a half. Let's check our, check our temperature. You want it somewhere between 125, 120 at least. Uh, and so we're at 120 on the king salmon and going up. It's going to cook a little bit more as it cools. This one's definitely hot. We better take that one off. This is our sockeye. I'm going to place that on the plate. And I'm going to take this off too. It just depends on how done you like your salmon. Some people don't like it, you know, on the rare side. I don't have a problem. I'm going to cover it, lay a piece of foil over the top, and just let it sit there for a minute while I make my sauce, and we'll serve this up. Now I turn the temperature down to low on this because it's pretty hot right now. So I'm going to add the butter to the pan. And I might add a little bit more just depending on how much um, sauce I want to make. I don't want this butter to burn, so I'm going to take it off the heat for just a bit. Do that anytime, you know, something looks a little too hot, take it off the flame. I'm going to start adding some garlic to that. Give that a little stir. My pan is still pretty hot, so I don't need to put it back on the flame yet. I'm just going to let that go while I add the zest from my organic lemon. It's always best to zest first. Makes it easier. Then I'm going to take my lemon that I just zested and I'm going to squeeze it right into my butter. We're going to juice the whole lemon here. Now I'm going to return this to the heat. Alright, so back on the heat we go and I'll just give this a stir and I'm going to add just a little more butter because I want a little bit more sauce. So I'm going to put that much more in there, let that melt, add a little parsley, and we're good to go. This is so yummy. Okay, now that our sauce is done, we're going to add the salmon back to the dish. And I'm just going to spoon a little bit of this sauce right over the top, make sure the fish is nice and warm again. This is on low heat, remember, and once that sits in there for a minute or two, I'm going to plate it up. This smells amazing. If you love garlic, you're going to love this recipe. Here's my mashed potatoes. Put them on the plate. I'll place this salmon right on top of those potatoes. What? This is like going out to a restaurant. We've got to have some of that sauce right over the top of this onto those potatoes. Garnish with a little bit of parsley. And you got a magnificent meal here. And that is good. You guys got to try this. So delicious. Mashed potatoes are the way to go. Or mashed cauliflower rice would work too. Man, that's good. Taste the garlic, taste the lemon, taste the butter. Mmm. If you love salmon recipes, you gotta try my salmon pesto pasta recipe. It's quick to put together any night of the week. It's got beans in it, and then we're using bonza pasta to keep the carbs lower. You're gonna love it, it's quick and easy. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you down in the description or right here on the screen. And I wanna thank you all for stopping in today and sharing time with me and watching my video. Thank you again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button for me if you enjoyed this video, and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you next time.